Hey, I will in this video show how to use the measurement tools in QGIS and how different map projection may affect the measure distance. So the measure ruler is found up here and I open this simply by clicking on it and we can then choose between a Cartesian or an ellipsoidal measurement. I'm going to measure the distance from Oslo in Norway down to Cape Town in South Africa. And on these large distances, the most accurate is to use the ellipsoidal measurements because that's then measure the distance on the spherical surface. And all the problems that map projection introduce is not affecting it. So let's go ahead trying this, we can zoom in a little bit on Oslo, positioning the cursor there, and we start measuring. We can pan us down to South Africa, activate the ruler again, and this pop-ups again. Clicking on Cape Town, and the first segment here is then the measure distance from Oslo to Cape Town. It's better to have it in kilometers, so this is um, 10,345,000 10, kilometers. Let's see how map projection may affect this. We can change the map projection to a world Mercator just to see the effect. Then the world looks rather different. We can zoom in on Oslo again, starting the measurement, situate the cursor at Oslo. Activate the ruler again and click on Cape Town. This is exactly the same because I forgot to click on Cartesian, which we need to do to see the effect on map projection. So let's do this one more time. Clicking on Cartesian, uh, we can start from Cape Town this time and go up to Oslo. And this gives uh, distance of 12,278 kilometers. So approximately 2,000 kilometers more than the ellipsoidal distances. How map projection influence the distance measure depends on the map projection and world equidistant cylindrical is a equidistance map projection. That is not true for every possible directions for measuring the distance, but uh, distances measures along the meridians, so along the Greenwich Meridian and any other circles from North Pole to the South Pole will be rather accurate. And it's, since it so happens that Oslo Cape Town is rather parallel to one of these meridians. The, the distance measure using the equidistance cylindrical should be among the most accurate. So let's see how the distance is using this map projection. So situated the cursor again at Oslo. And click there. So this is um, Again, coming down to 10,377, so quite close to the first ellipsoidal measured distances. So indeed, using an equidistance map projection and measuring then a distance which is very close to a meridian gives rather accurate distance measures. But any other measure you may do would be, would be wrong. 